We're gamers united, where we're gonna play games. You know we're gonna have fun. Plus, we share our game play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamers United. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Metroid Prime Remastered on the Switch. Um, last episode was a little long. We got uh, a lot of uh, artifacts. Um, I think we got two more artifacts to get. So we're going to um, believe the the chosen uh, the Chozo ruins. Um, speaking of the chosen, good uh, good show to watch. It's on. Uh, they 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 have it a little bit on YouTube, but after a while, they they have it on the app. But a uh, good show uh, about Jesus and the disciples. If you want to check it out, not forcing you, but if you want to, it's it's a good it's a good watch. I only said that because I actually uh, said the chosen instead of the chozo. I did not plan for that, but uh... <laughs> oh, see, we want to get to Life Grove. Okay. Which is pretty good because we are right there. I forget if uh, you get this guy right here. If you get um, this ship, I think you can restock all your missiles. So you want to go up here. Um, Life Grove is uh Life Grove is uh where we do the magnetic rail thing. This thing right here, that's what If you get anything for going up there. Okay, so we're in here. Um, assuming some kind of solution will prevent it, uh, prevent itself. Solution will present itself. Like that. Excuse me. Oh. I like how it's telling me, like, this is where you go. I know that I just need to get the said items that I have to look for. <sighs> All 
All right, got that one. Uh, how do we get out of this room again? Um, I went on this. Is there a way to get out of this room? I forget. I know there's this right here, but I don't think it's that easy. Oh, I bet you go around and you go. Can I just do this? No, I can't. I have to go around this whole thing again. Beep. So part of me just... Didn't really do that right in the mid jump. I'm probably gonna fall because of that. Oh. Okay, no. All right. Jump here. Okay, yeah, I remember. Right back in there. That's not the way. Let me show you the way. There we go.
All right, now we're going to the Chozo area. Um, we're looking for the tower chamber. Okay, tower chamber. Burn down. I'm guessing. Guessing there's going to be right by the purple area. Oh no, that's not that one. This is about the wave beam. Sun tower. Oh, Sun Tower. Tower Chamber. It says location tower chamber sun tower. There's the sun tower. I did also see Hall of the Elders. Maybe I missed one. So let's go to the Hall of the Elders. Uh, let's see, where are we? <laughs> Okay, okay. We're pretty close to the Hall Elders. So we just go... So I'm in the Hall of the Elders, uh... Okay. I don't think I've done the red... Red Beam yet.
Got you. I might actually got this one. I think I think I already got this one. Furnace. Okay, burn dome. Then we got one over here. It's a sun tower. Um, <clears throat> I might actually go through these real quick. Um, Okay, definitely got the one the phase on mines. Okay, I definitely got world. Let me just go through this real quick. Okay, uh... Truth. Strength. Elder. Wild. Life giver. Warrior. Chozo. Nature. Sun, world, spirit, newborn, Oh no, world I haven't got. Okay, and this one is in this.
I definitely got that then. Are you sure this is the one I'm missing? Okay, I think I've already gotten this one. Okay, maybe I do have them all. Got one way to find out, right? Um. All right. <sighs> Maybe I got all of them and that's why I was saying, hey, come over here. I, I was uh, taking it as, uh, oh yeah, this is where you're supposed to bring stuff, just in case you didn't know. Yes, I'm looking for the artifacts though. All right. Um, equip this so I can use the super beam or super missiles because super missiles help me in the before because they helped me in the past we're gonna see this again and I can't skip it
Alright, um, so something's wrong here. So, um, I will be right back. I think I actually had to go back to that, um, elders, uh, thing again. Uh, see you guys in a sec. Hello, everyone. I'm back. I just realized I did something completely stupid in the last, um, section. Uh, all I had to do was bomb the thing. And there we go, we got the final, uh... So we got the whole thing now. I thought for s some reason I glitched it when I, uh... killed the guy in, um... I don't know what I'm saying. When I killed the guy, uh, or hit the switch before I killed these uh, three uh, goat ghost pirates, I guess that's what they're called. I thought I kind of glitched something, but no, I just forgot the bomb, and I just realized like when I got to this part, I'm like, oh yeah, die. Um. Now we're going back to the ceiling. <laughs> back to the ceiling. We're going back to the overworld. Not overlord. I forgot if this is the one I went to. Yes, it is. Okay. So, fun fact, um, if you want to go back to this area, you can't go back this way, because... I forget uh, why originally, I, but I tried to get back there the other way around, and it did not work. I had to go around the other way. Oh yeah, so you have to go down here, so yeah. I mean, maybe there's a way, I don't know. I will be back at the ship here soon. Okay, now we're in the ship area. We're gonna do this, we're gonna get all our missiles back. Save. All right, so uh, to get to go this way. We have these three guys up here, I think. I have 115 missiles, hopefully that's enough. The suspense. We're 
gonna get this lovely little cutscene again. Oh, that way to scan them all. Never mind. Oh boy. There's Mecha, Mecha Ridley, I think. Mecha or Meta Ridley? I think it's Mecha. He got a little robot. I think he's gonna knock down some of those towers and they're gonna reveal some health for us. So we're trapped in here for now. Um. Man, let's get a scan of you, buddy. A little bit of his health. Oh, he's over there. I can see him. Where are you, buddy? Oh, he's, uh... Health back. Oh, shot too soon. I'm down to half health. Half health. Got half health. What the Ridley thing? What's up, Meta Ridley? Got full health. Ah, oh, too soon. <laughs> Oh, now you're on the ground. Let's fight. Finish it. Oh, I gotta scan him again. Okay.
some of this, buddy? This guy's being cheap. Alright dude, come on. I see what you're doing. Okay, but except when he does that. Oh, come on. that tough it's just that final part like he took a lot of uh 
Oh, look at that. Oh, get wrecked, nerd. Uh, so I believe if I go into there, I will, I will, um, I will go to the impact crater, which is the final area. Um, I'm going to do something real quick. Um, I'm going to save it. Then I'm gonna exit out of the game and then I'm gonna make a copy just in case. So this is the whole game minus like, you know, collecting all the 100% items, but, um, and the final boss, of course. Okay, we're gonna play, um, we're gonna race this, and then I'm going to copy this. So we'll have two, uh, two of these. Um, So now we'll go into the thing, um, but um, just in case, um, I don't know how I'm going to do with this final boss. Um, I might, uh, I'm going to say my uh, send off just in case I uh, don't um, beat it. And I want to do this as a nicer send off because since we'll be, uh, we beat that boss, uh, um, the meta Ridley. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Game on and take care. Bye, guys. All right. If this video is still playing, that means I have... Uh, hopefully beat the game. But uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, I'll get to a part that... Uh, I'll just be proud of how I got to that part of the boss. I don't know. But Ridley, Meta Ridley was a little tricky, but uh, wasn't too bad. Um, I didn't even realize I could have used super missiles too. Or super missiles, uh, not super missiles, super bombs. Do I, do I scan this? impact crater. So I believe there are some Metroids in this, including the boss. Um, there's a save thing. That's awesome. I believe this is the last save that you can use today. <laughs> use today. You can only use one save today. No, um, this is the last save in the game, I think. I guess we jump on these. Oh. 
We just power through it. Okay, there's two red things, so maybe there's another save. I don't know. Okay. Nope. Nope. Of course, you still get your jollies off. Oh, jeez. These guys are annoying. Okay, got you. Okay, uh... Oh, that's fine. He still gets me. He hugs around the thing. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Get off me. Get off. Okay, maybe I just have to be quick. hate how this guy is just following me through this whole thing. Like, he's just like, you know what? It's gonna be fun when I mess you up and you're gonna land off the platform. Oh, there's another save thing. Could. Could. <laughs> Not good. Could. Oh, that's not a save thing. Missiles. Okay. I wonder if I just have to platform through this area. You know what? What? Okay, I was like, you die too! Oh, so let's just peace out here. Be nice if we get one more save, though. I doubt we will. What the heck is this? Some more platforming. I didn't get scan you.
That's what it is, okay. Oh, the missile disappeared! No!
Oh. Alright, come on. Come on. Not for this crap. Oh gosh, I can't. Oh yeah, you're gonna suck it, Metroid Prime.
so close. Oh, so close! I'll give you some of those super bombs. Oh, so freaking close, guys! Did we just beat it? Did we just beat Metroid Prime for the first time? I don't know. Is it, is, it, is it gonna happen? Did we do it? Did we do it, guys? That wasn't so hard. They, they definitely made it a lot easier when I was playing on GameCube. I think uh, maybe uh, normal mode would have been like the GameCube version. But yeah, I've never beaten this game before, so this is the first time I've beaten this game. Um, and not just for the Switch, for Metroid Prime altogether. Um, yeah, I had a history for this one and the second one to uh, get to the final boss. Oh gosh, do I have to... Oh my gosh. Oh boy, am I gonna... Did I celebrate too soon? Oh, never mind. This is automatic. Um, but yeah, the Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2. Get to the final boss. I have, I had so much trouble with the final boss. I could not beat the final boss. Like this one, like, if, at least when I was younger, it felt like the fight went a lot longer than this. And, um, but yeah, the first one and the second one got to the end. Um, couldn't beat the boss, so I used a, uh, Whatever the GameCube cheat thing, action replay thing, and um, we did it. Uh, and use like, I don't know if it was like infinite life or something or infinite missiles or, or something. And um, I'd, I'd uh, beat the boss and then it would not let me get the ending. Like it was like, uh, uh, uh. You, you have to beat it legitly, or maybe my copy was just messed up or. Actually, there have been both copies because Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2. That goes, I think that's what's called. Um, but uh, yeah, so we beat this for the first time. Um, pretty, pretty fun game. Um, I, this uh, definitely made me feel like I was actually playing Super Metroid that difficulty or Metroid Dread. Like there are some challenging moments, but like you can overcome it after you play it for a while. Um, but like I remember playing on the GameCube and Omega Pirate frustrated the heck out of me. 
But I finally beat him. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. And then I fight Medley, Meta Ridley. More agonizing thing. I guess I had a little agonizing on this one, but uh, it was just that final part where he had the final slither in health. And, and then Metroid Prime, uh, which I thought was going to take forever, which it did when I was younger. Um, but yeah, I guess you just have to pretty much Metroid Prime boss. You have to change. Uh, you have to change your beam to that color, and do the t do the attacks. And then um, they they have those little things to the side that you can shoot for uh, missiles and bombs and stuff. Uh, then there's uh, that little. Uh, I think it starts out with two little hole things where you can like if it crawls, you go under it so it doesn't hurt you. And then the, finally one hole, and then like the course, the final final part, you have to um, pretty much just um, keep shooting him in the blue goo to get the hyper mode, which I guess is a kind of uh, callback to Super Metroid after the Metroid baby from uh, Metroid 2: Return of Samus, which I might play on the channel too because it's on the Game Boy thing, um, and uh, Metroid Fusion. Okay, I'm getting off topic, um, but. Uh, but yeah, like when, when uh, it uh, died protecting you from uh, Mother Brain and then it absorbs itself into you and then you have that hyper beam thing. That's what it kind of felt like. That's what I was going to say. Um, I guess the only thing uh, missing from this game was uh, the evacuation sequence. But uh, this, uh, this game was hard when I first played it, so I'm okay with it right now. Um, I hope they make a remake Metroid Prime 2. Definitely would love to try that out. I never played Metroid Prime 3. I would say maybe did. It's, I just played it for a little bit and I just got bored. Because like I got kind of bored from the Metroid Prime series because I, I, I felt more accustomed to um, the 3D Metroid. Or the 3D. The 2D Metroid. Not 3D. Uh, it's the uh, other way around. Um, but uh, yeah, I love me some Metroids. But, but yeah, like I was saying, um, Return of Samus is on the uh, Game uh, Game Boy Online through Switch. I can play that. I remember that game was pretty easy, except for the final boss. It, like the final boss is like the main challenge of the whole game. That's where you fight like the Metroid Queen or what, whatever it is on the Metroid planet. Um, and then Metroid Fusion. Uh, I remember it. It was fun, but it was also it did have its frust. Uh, frustrated and terrifying moments it was like almost like uh i want to say it's kind of remind me of dread there's like these parts where you have to run away from this other clone samus or i forget what it was it's called sax i think somehow they get into metroid dread with that uh storyline but uh pretty much you ha you have to get out of there and like i think you also have to be un un undetected as well so kind of like uh, Metroid Dread, where you had to hide away from the—I forget what those were called—but the oh, those, you know what I'm talking about. The the main gimmick of Metroid Dread is so you had to like hide from those guys. You get that special attack thing. You take them out, and then uh, then you get a—that's how you get their your new power. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play Metroid One. I don't know. I, I might. Uh, I think that's one of the games that, like, I remember in the past being like, "Oh, so cool!" But like, trying to replay it, it's it kind of like, "Huh? Where where do I go?" I I don't think I forget if it had a map system. I don't think I forget if it had a map system. I, I just know that the map was com complicated, at least for a Nintendo game. I mean, Legend of Zelda was a little bit tricky, but you could find your way around. Like, if you get to the left side of the map and you get to the right side of the map to get to the up part with Death Mountain. Um, hoping this will end soon so we could uh, get into some. Oh, look, it's saying Nintendo. Usually when uh, it goes to Nintendo or it says special thanks, I figure those are usually when it uh, is wrapping up. Um, let's see how long this episode will be because I just had a. 20, okay, 26 minutes. So it's going to be a little bit longer than an hour. Um, try to see if I can do the math here. 45, 70 minutes. So an hour and 10 minutes, I think, uh, plus plus whatever now. 
Oh, there we go. Nintendo of America. But yeah, I'm just so hyped I was able to beat this game. Man, that's... This game, I remember, was hard as heck. But I mean, I did play it on casual. Which people might say, Oh, you're such a wuss. No, I I play what I want to play, man. You, you play what you want to do. I think um, after you beat the game, which I just did, I was uh, after you beat the game, it will um, you can load a new game and then it'll have the original your original scans. So I could just go back um, and like replay and scan the missable stuff. All right, here we go. What do we got at the end? i this is all new to me. Talon Ford, you gave me so many nightmares throughout the years. I even. 67%, almost 69, dang it! Uh, new extras unlocked in the menu. Total time 12 hours and 8 minutes. Hard difficulty unlocked, no thank you. I've, I had enough fun with uh, easy. I should have took a picture of that, but uh, yes, I want to save. Don't know if we'll just go dive into the game right now or be like uh, Resident Evil where it says New Game Plus. Alright, um, let's just see what, start a new game, mission complete. I'm gonna get, two, I'm gonna purposely get two more percent. Just, and then take a picture of it. Um, let's see what extras we got. Concept gallery? Uh, let's do remastered. Ooh, look at all these creatures. A lot of stuff I didn't unlock here. This is probably the stuff I need to. And I could probably look up this stuff too. This is pretty much the same ones, right? I don't know, that's a little bit different because there's four of them. World, let's see what the world looks like. Oh, like probably the atmospheres. Ooh, that, oh, that's pretty cool. Remastered. They did a really good job with this game. I was kind of mad at it before because it frustrated me before, but I just had to get good, you know? And sometimes, like, when you get older, you don't want to worry. You don't You don't want to pressure yourself to play too hard of a game. And you know your, you know your, uh, you know your limits and you don't want to push it. Oh, we got all these. Ooh. Let's see if we can get... Omega Pirate. Oh, I remember you. Shadow Pirate. So we got all the enemies. Phase on Elite. Meta Ridley. Metroids. Hey, when they had different colors. Oh, Hunter Metroids. Okay, those are War Metroids. Metroid Prime and the final Metroid Prime. And of course, the best part the soundtrack. We all love the soundtrack. That, you know I was looking for that. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, I gotta get some more. Mega Pirate. Chosen Shrine. All 
All right, uh, so that has been my playthrough of Metroid Prime. Um, if you want to look for the walk uh, walkthroughs that find all the things, there's probably plenty of uh, things on uh, YouTube, or you can check IGN, GameSpot. Um, they, they'll probably have a, a guide. I, that's why I look for uh, the, the artifacts at the end. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for believing in me. I could not do it without you. No. Uh, yeah, but thank you so much, um, seriously, for uh, watching this. And uh, definitely, if you have a chance, check this game out. It's pretty fun. And if, like, like me, the GameCube kind of got you off of it because you, it got too hard, play this one, and it's a lot easier. Um, I mean, there's still some challenges, but... Uh, you'll, you'll be able to work through them. Um, but uh, have a w <laughs> take care. <laughs> I'm rambling on. Have a wonderful day. Game on. Believe in yourself and take care. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Both me and Chelsea greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, that's cool. If not, that's cool as well. Um, I'm a gamer who likes to play games, talk games, love games, breathe games, all that fun jazz. But uh, everyone out there, have a wonderful night. Take care. And game on, gamers. Bye. Bye.